in the kitchen, grill and chill, anyone? And Jessica Tomlinson, Director of Culinary at Ford's Garage, is here to inspire us with ideas from their burger and beer joint, which of course is inspired by Henry Ford himself. So to help us elevate any backyard barbecue, Jessica, good to see you. How you doing? Good to see you as well. I'm doing fantastic. Happy to be here. So where do we begin? I mean, everyone wants to stand out and we still, let's be honest, in Florida, we can enjoy outside. We can enjoy barbecue for many more months versus yes. other parts in the country. So what are some ideas on how you can elevate it? Yeah, I think it's summer. We naturally just go to cookouts and grilling and barbecue. So I think this, all this food I'm going to present today is it's great. That can be done at home. And um, we're really trying to build that theme in Ford's garage. You're thinking of it, it's July. We want to try the barbecue items. I like that. And to be a true story, I am definitely a burger girl. Love my burgers even more so to be able to bring in, you know, the uh, the barbecue elements yes. to it instead of doing like a traditional barbecue sandwich. So I like where we're starting already. Before though, you've already started. I mean, let's let's be honest. You've already started cooking a little bit here. Yeah. So what I've done already is I've already seasoned our burger with our Ford seasoning. But please feel free to use whatever burger seasoning you enjoy. Uh, the biggest thing is to season it well. If you think you've seasoned enough, add a little bit more because it's really? going to lose a little bit of that seasoning on the grill okay. or in the flat top you're using. So don't okay. be afraid to season the burger. Uh, so we use our fourth seasoning and then we also do blackened seasoning to kind of just punch up those notes of the barbecue elements. Now you don't nor normally use that on your regular burgers. This we is don't. just special for this one? This is just special for this one. Just okay. to kind of build more of those flavors and create the depth that we're going for. Am I allowed to ask about the Ford seasoning? Oh, without sure. without giving any secrets, any hints maybe? Yeah, I can tell you what's in it, but not ratio. So it's it's uh, freshly ground black pepper, kosher salt, and a little bit of garlic powder. Oh, yes. I, totally doable. Yeah. So, okay, um, so you're rocking the burger. What yeah. does make a good burger, by the way? Well, like I said, Much definitely, debate there. definitely the seasoning. And then, and then I, I, I tell a lot of people, don't get flipping happy on the grill. Oh. Let it cook. Let it get that sear. Because that sear is really what's going to add the texture yeah. and seal on the juices in the burger. Okay. Don't get flipping happy, everybody. <laughs> you heard it here. I like that. Okay. That's so, it. and as we get ready to, of course, plate it and put the barbecue spin on it here, I just want to give a few seconds, though, and talk Ford's Garage yes. overall. Vintage vibe. That's I right. love a theme. You guys execute the theme from the second you, actually, the second you drive into the parking lot. Let's be honest. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I think it's, I think we're really unique in that we are something for every generation. I have a three-year-old daughter that absolutely loves coming to our restaurants yep. because she's just fascinated with all our memorabilia in there. She loves pushing the buttons so the, so the car horn goes off and the smoke. Yep. So it really is something special for everyone. Mom and dad is happy because their kids are entertained. Grandpa's happy because he's got his cocktail and burger. So it really is something unique for everyone. And, uh, you know, it, the nod to Henry Ford and we have for car enthusiasts, we have the vintage cars in there. So it really is something special. It, it absolutely is. Even down to the details in the restroom, which I'm not going <laughs> to lie, is pretty cool. See that for yourself. Okay, Sorry. let's go ahead and get back to the burger, though. I have to give a shout out to the, the cool thing. I wasn't going to go have. there, so I'm glad you did. I totally would. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so not okay, only is this next? a barbecue, but this is also very spicy as well. Oh, nice. So this is intended for the person who enjoys heat. Okay. So to start that off, we added some pepper jack cheese. Oh, I wondered what kind of cheesy head yeah, on Yeah, so this is pepper jack, so that's going to really build that, yep. uh, that level of spice. So then here we have our perfectly toasted bun. We're going to add in some romaine lettuce to give it a nice crunch, and just to say you got your vegetables in. So I'm going to add our burger. Nice. Next, we are going to add in our jalapenos. Now, how big of a patty is this, by the way? I'm always kind of weenie, and I get, like, your smaller version I, of I'm patty. right there with you. Okay, so how big of a patty are we talking about? So this is this a half one? pound. It is, this okay. Is an eight-ounce burger. So we have our sliced jalapenos. There you go. Next, I'm going to go in with our candied pork belly. I wondered what that was, and I was waiting to ask until we started rolling. Yeah, absolutely delicious. So what we do is we take our pork belly, we season it with our blackened seasoning, and then a little bit of maple syrup. Now, I know pork belly can be challenging to get, so you can do the same behavior with thick sliced bacon as well. Oh, no kidding. So very, very easy. But this will add kind of like that maple syrup is going to break up that spice and add in that sweet, so sweet, savory heat. You know what, and of course we still have plenty to get to here in yes. the front of, of our screen, but before we even get to that, I want to get back to the kind of the theme we were talking about. Being able to combine these like traditional things you see at a barbecue with maybe a twist, putting it on a burger, that kind of gets back to that elevating things that people really can do at home. Oh, absolutely. I think you just, barbecue naturally plays well because there's tons of layers of flavor already in barbecue. Yeah. You have the sweet, you have the heat, the smoky, you have a little bit of sour from the tangy and the vinegar in the barbecue sauces. Yeah. So it's already kind of there for you. It's just about matter of just building it up. And, and thinking then, outside the box almost. Right, exactly. Like taking candied bacon. I, I love it. I've never had candied bacon or, in this case, pork. But, okay, on, All on right. the burger here. So then, again, we're building it off. So we have our 
in-house made chipotle barbecue sauce. Oh, nice. So adding more uh, level of heat. So we're just gonna put a generous spread on our top bun. And then here we go. Now, and then, and then you, gotta, you gotta do like the cram little, down. Little okay. smash. Here's the thing, I'm solo hosting today, so I will wait to bite in, because then I'll have the mouthful, and then it just gets awkward. But really quick, we only have about 30 seconds left. Yep. Can you gotta run through everything? And you did bring a drink, too, to wash everything down, which is fun for barbecue, home, and of course, at the restaurant. Yeah, so just touching on the drink, you know, this is pretty spicy, so if you wanna kinda mellow that spice, this is a, our Blinker cocktail, so it has mango in it with a little bit of habanero lime syrup. This is our three-speed platter, which has half rack of barbecue ribs, andouille sausage, and our brisket burn ends. Nice. The burger we then have the, today, the right? The sweet burger. And then to start it off with and is our featured appetizer. It's a bacon-wrapped shrimp with barbecue sauce. Good stuff. We got it in, everybody. We've only got five seconds. That means I get to bite in now. Stay right there. More fun on the other side of the break. And go visit Ford's or have fun here for yourself.